Hi, my name is Michael Astor, and I just started a new organization called Ability Fierce. We have a really modest goal. I want to see everybody with disabilities get the services they're entitled to in a timely and dignified manner. Because people are not getting the service. They, first of all, people don't know what they're entitled to. It takes forever, and it doesn't work most of the time. But because it has this, the, you know, this existence and stuff that people can point to it and say, well, use that. How did Ability Fear start? L last summer, I wanted my son to go to college. My son is cerebral palsy. He graduated from high school general ed with services. He was entitled to go with his classmates to school. He was accepted at SUNY Purchase. But we could not make that work, though all of the incredibly complex pieces were there. It just couldn't work. And Purchase would not give his aid the accommodation. When we got that, we got that because the mayor tweeted out my son's name after seeing him in the New York Post. Mayor, uh, Governor Cuomo issued a statement telling Purchase to accommodate him, but that was just the beginning of our struggle. This system is so complicated that the only reason my son went to school was because I was unemployed, and the only reason I was able to make this work was CDPAP. And now, with CDPAP being threatened, he may have to leave school. And when they mentioned this in the budget hearings in Albany, people didn't understand where CDPAP fits into the whole system. They told the OPWDD to deal with it, and the OPWDD called us. But it's not, CDPAP is something separate. It's so complicated, the lawmakers don't understand it, the people who are supposed to take advantage of it don't understand it, and this is hurting people, this is hurting lives, this is hurting families, when this program is really the model of how we can take care of people. Um, and we are facing an aging population and we're going to see jobs disappear to AI. Caregiving is the way of the future.